Hi and welcome back to the next episode of Up The Shed. This episode we're looking at doing a renovation project. I intend to renovate a old record number 5 vice that I found online recently and hopefully once it's renovated I can then sell it back online to get some funds essentially for the workshop. As always guys if you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of the great content coming up in the future. Let's get started. Okay, well off camera I've managed to remove <clears throat> two retaining pins, one in the back of the vise holding the actual removable jaw or moving jaw in place and the other pin that holds the, the threaded bar, Acme thread in there. So this should hopefully now just easily, he says, but this should come apart. So although very, very dirty, that looks to be in very good condition. Hardly any wear on that at all by the looks of it. One spring. One washer. One nut. And it's interesting to see that a lot of this is actually red. Now I've been doing some research and I can't find the actual colour for any of the record tools that were red. But by looking at it, I would say it's possibly signal red um, or maybe fire engine red. But as I've got the Rondel blue, um, my intentions is to take this back to run normally so let's take these two bits apart again looking at the slides not a lot of massive wear. I mean, there even looks to be some original paint in the back here. But let's get them cleaned up. There's a good three or four different colours on here. There's a grey, a red, a green, a blue. So we'll go back to blue.
think they're going to need a good soaking, maybe even some heat. Let's try the uh, let's try the other ones maybe. Same for those. Okay, I think I'm gonna let these soak overnight. And we'll uh, we'll bring you back hopefully when those are a bit looser. Just show you this bit. This is luckily the last one. Now I could most probably buy these, but I'm thinking I might make them. So I've got some high tensile bolts here. So what I'm thinking is that we can take these down to 5 sixteenths. We'll cut the thread on the lathe. And then once it's done, we'll flip them around. And I've still got a couple here that have survived, sort of, ish. But enough that I can get a good length on them, check the thread pitch, check the angle. And I think we might as well make those on the lathe. So, um, but we'll get this out. Still got quite a bit of uh, cleaning up to do on the top of this one. And that will be the the next stage. But damn sight happy now I've got these out. There's a few dings and bits and pieces on this old old vice. But I think that's part of the character. So okay. Let's uh, get this set up in the vice outside, and we'll be ready for getting some, getting on the, the grinding discs. Okay, well as you can see, this end looks a, a lot better now with all the welding spatter off, and I've just done the top of the fixed jaw end as well. And here are all our parts. So we've got the retaining pin turning pin for the bar. Have a look at those later, might remake those. The four screws are what's left of them. Springs out a bit of cleaning so as washer, that's good. Um, as I said before, the actual uh, Acme thread on this is in really, really good order. The bar itself's a bit bent here, as you might be able to see on camera. So what we do is once we've got it a little bit cleaner, we'll try and uh, get some heat into that and get that straight, hopefully. I'm actually running out of gas, so I don't have a, a big gas set up here. Um, obviously with the current situation with the country, it's hard sometimes to obviously get parts and bits. So uh, hopefully though, I'll have enough. And then we've got our, our two jaws now. Looking at these, not too bad for its age. They seem to be in fairly good nick. So hopefully with a, with a blast, we'll uh, grind the tops of these down once we've given them a, a blast to get most of the crap off it. First thing first we're going to degrease it. So I'm going to degrease it off camera, shot blast it or media blast it off camera and then uh, I'll bring you back and we'll see where we are. Okay. Right we've got the first few bits back from the media blaster. These have had a little bit of a polish and a tidy up on the wire wheel um, and I think they look fairly good considering their age and the abuse they've had. All I've done on the top is just grind the weld spatter that was on both of these um, and they're not looking too bad to be honest. Um, I think they'll work perfectly well. We've still got loads of life left in them so that's good. Off camera last night I just turned one of these bolts down just to see what sort of measurement I could go and I actually took a bit more than I needed to. Now these here, the ones that go into the vice jaws are 5 sixteenths, um, 18 teeth per inch. So and I can just get that out of this. This is uh, 300 thousandths. So to get another 12 thousandths out of this should be easy enough. So we'll make those um, at a later date. As you can see we've got the main screw here in handle. This is at a um, 
a good time on the media blaster and I've just started polishing it up again or polishing it up I should say um, and the next thing to do is what I really want to do because this has been washed down is get some oil on the Acme screw thread itself and get that in this is just uh, machine oil, light machine oil that I'm using here so I just want to get that rubbed down ready just so it doesn't rust again and that bit other than the handle having another polish is done okay so next on the agenda is the actual nut for the main screw and while the main and fixed jaw are in for soak to get all the oil off and grease and guns that I can't just easily get off I think we'll uh, do a bit of painting now this has been media blasted and cleaned and degreased and cleaned I should say This will be a nice quick first coat. We'll let this dry and we'll start getting these bits painted as we go. Okay, well, much of the same really. I'll uh, finish this piece off camera and then I'll bring you back once we've got the main fixed and moving jaw back out and blasted and see what sort of state they're in. Um, and hopefully they'll be ready for paint too. Okay. Well, as you can see, it's both bits back from the media blaster just needs a bit of a wipe down there and all of the bare metal surfaces polishing up and oiling the stop or the bolt or the nut I should say for the main um, handle is that its first coat and it's totally dry so I just need to give that a quick wipe down and give that a second coat and off camera I've been just turning some high tensile bolts down to see how they look and I must admit they fit fairly well within the actual jaws themselves so once we've done this part and got this painted or at least the first coat we'll uh, get some of these mounted in the lathe and start turning these it's going to be a bit of a, a process really but hey that's what we need to do okay so let's uh, Crack on. Okay, well, as you know guys, it's rinse and repeat, so I'm going to crack on with this off camera and then what I'll do, I'll bring you back when we're ready to paint and decide whether we do the full part of the jaw or if we just come up the back to the back of the, the part that holds the jaw, but we'll, uh, we'll decide on that um, in a bit. Okay, I'll bring you back then. Right, everything's had a bit of a polish where it needs it. A bit of a clean up. Now, top the paint. And I've decided I'm going to paint all this on both of the moving and fixed jaws. And the reason for that is, is this is really, really pitted. And I intend to sell this on eBay. Um, and I think that having it painted 
will make it last a lot longer and give the person whoever buys it hopefully less hassle um, you know this is a bit of an honest renovation really I'm not filling in any of the dinks and the cuts and I mean we've obviously ground all this down but I think as it stands I'll just paint all these surfaces and leave it so at least it shows the use and albeit I hate to say it, abuse that it's had over its life so let's uh, crack on Okay, well, as you all know, pretty much more of the same. So I'm going to carry on with this and I will bring you back when we are ready. Once both jaws have had their first coat, first thin coat of paint, um, I'll bring you back when we're ready to start machining the bolts or the machine screws. For the jaws. Okay. Right, well we're back at the lathe now. So off camera I've, I've found some um, rusty bar stock that I've just taken down to just over half an inch, it's about 550 thou. Now according to the machinist handbook um, and online the head of a 516-18 screw should be uh, about 590 thousandths but I couldn't get this there, there was too much rust on this, too pitted so I've gone for about 5.5 and, a half and um, I think that'll be okay so what we're going to do, we're going to take this down to just under um, 312 thousandths and then we'll set the change gears in the back to uh, to be able to cut uh, an 18 pitch thread and um, I'll show you how we do that but for now I've got the compound slide over at 41 degrees so we're gonna cut basically or we'll machine the shank and the head um, while we're set up like this and then we'll swap it around to cut the threads let's get to it So as you can see we're now at the stage where it's sort of starting to look like a screw. So the shank is at 308 thousandths, so 4 thousandths under 5 sixteenths, shouldn't be an issue. So now we just need to cut the thread. So we'll be changing this angle here to 27 and a half degrees. Change the cutter out for a 55 degree high speed steel threading bit and we'll get into there to change the gears. So I'll get all that open, get the gears ready, and I'll bring you back. All right, so as you can see, we've got our gears at the back here. So this is our A, B, C, and D gear, as the manual calls it. So luckily, we don't actually have to change these two. So currently we've got a 16 or 120 tooth gear here. We need to change this to a 127, because this is a metric lathe we need a 127 gear to cut imperial threads and a 45 I believe it is 45 tooth gear down here so let's get it changed over OK, 
Okay, so we've got 30 to a 120 tooth, transferred to a 127, onto a 45, which should give us 18 teeth per inch. Okay, closes up and we'll start cutting threads. Okay, well, I've done a scratch pass and I've got a 5 sixteenths 18 pitch Whitworth 55 degree thread checker and we are bang on there. Okay, so as luck would have it, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I do actually have a nut that will fit. So, what I'm hoping is I can get this down and we'll try the nut as we go. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get to it. as you can see we've cut the back of the rod off that these screws were made on and now I'm just going to face down to where the chamfer finishes they're all within about 10,000 of each other the smallest one being 560 the largest one being about 575 so I'm happy that they're all the same once that's done we'll get them all out of the lathe um, we'll set up a collet block and then we'll start to use a file to get the actual slotting. Okay, well that's all the bits and pieces complete. Now it's time to get it back together. Okay.
well as you can see we are now back together and complete and although this started out as an absolute horrible horrible looking vice I think we've done it quite proud on this lovely little renovation okay so the next thing for me to do is to get some pictures done and get it up on eBay or marketplace etc to see if I can sell it and make some money for the channel well that's the end of the episode lots of new stuff for me there making those screws especially the imperial threads not something I've cut before on the lathe cutting the slots in the heads of the screws with a file unfortunately I didn't have a million, a million cutter small enough otherwise I think I would have done it on the milling machine but all in all a fantastic project and hopefully one that's going to bring me a little bit of profit on uh, either marketplace or ebay or, or wherever I decide to, to sell it hopefully you've enjoyed watching this episode if you have then please like and subscribe and share please leave a comment um, I'm always open to learning new things and approaching things in different ways as always guys please stay safe take care thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode